From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. On June 4, 1968, Robert Kennedy won the California Democratic primary, and insiders believed he had a shot at becoming the next U.S. president. On June 5, 1968, he was assassinated in the pantry of L.A.'s Ambassador Hotel. An armed man named Sirhan Sirhan was quickly arrested and his 22 pistol confiscated. Sirhan's diaries contained compulsive messages about killing Robert Kennedy, and he'd even made a deadline before June 5, 1968. The FBI and LAPD swarmed onto the scene, meticulously documenting evidence and interviewing witnesses. There's no question that Sirhan fired his weapon and meant to kill Kennedy, and on the surface, this seems like an open and shut case. Or does it? Here's where it gets crazy. While the U.S. court system has convicted Sirhan Sirhan of the murder, numerous sources argue that there's more to the case, and some of these conspiracy theories contradict each other. They can be roughly divided into two groups. The first group argues that Sirhan Sirhan was not the only gunman, and that he could not have fired all of the fatal shots. For example, Kennedy's autopsy showed a bullet wound behind his right ear, most likely fired from a very short range. Sirhan was several feet in front of Kennedy. The second group of theories argues that Sirhan was brainwashed. These theories specifically argue that Sirhan was hypnotized and committed the murders under the influence of the U.S. government or criminal organizations. There's no question that many sources have serious reservations about the official story. Not all of these concerns come from conspiracy theorists. Lawrence Teeter, one of Sirhan's attorneys, argued that Sirhan was out of position and out of range to fire the fatal shots. Some members of the LAPD involved with the murder have also acknowledged that a second gunman could have been present, and there were difficulties accounting for the paths of all the bullets. Today, the official explanation for the paths of these bullets is available on the FBI's website. Yet shortly after the murder, freelance photographs of a nearby door jam showed two additional bullet holes. According to the LAPD, this door jam had been destroyed after the initial investigation and was not available for further analysis. When asked to look into the possibility of additional bullets and, by implication, an additional gunman, the district attorney's office denied the request, calling it a fishing expedition and saying it would confuse the public. If there was a second gunman, who could it be? Most theorists point to a guard named Thane Eugene Caesar, who was escorting Kennedy during the shooting. If Sirhan was a patsy, then who was ultimately responsible for the murder? Kennedy's friend Robert Vaughn places the blame on Greek shipping tycoon Aristotle Onassis. According to Vaughn, Onassis paid to have Kennedy murdered over an investigation into his shipping ventures. Vaughn also believes there were 12 bullets fired, and Sirhan's gun held eight. Despite controversies over the bullets and witness statements, the court sentenced Sirhan to death. In 1972, California abolished the death penalty, and as a result, Sirhan Sirhan is still alive in prison today. His most recent appeal relies on the theory that he was hypnotically influenced. In short, it appears that a conspiracy theory has made it to court. For the mainstream, this case has been closed. Sirhan Sirhan, acting alone, killed Robert Kennedy. For numerous others, however, including some LAPD investigators and forensic experts, the government is ignoring the fact that there's something else to this story, something they don't want you to know. Executive Order 1111-0, issued on June 4, 1963. This uh, is the order that Kennedy issued regarding silver certificates. And, um, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise if you haven't seen the episode yet, but for everybody wanting to know the Federal Reserve angle on the Kennedy assassination, uh, please check out the video.